rough life. He, he doesn't even know what he's doing. Like, <laughs> at the same time, like, what's Conjure Image really going to do? Maybe you can just push fast enough, but... This is such an old classic lane. The the Weaver plus a Baden. It used to be the the Weaver train. Oh, yo, Iron Man, the haste rune mid. He got him. Oh my god, what a terrifying <laughs> little scenario. All right, and he's going to be able to get off the Aphotic Shield. Doesn't die to that last right click. boy. Oh, that's pretty beautiful. That's good to see. Uh, it's really difficult that way. That is one advantage to the Lich pick here that I hadn't really considered. Mm -hmm. Because every level on a Baden is just brutal. Keep stocking up this this big burst, and you really want that like third level in a photic shield where Meg and these dives become even easier. Of course, looks like it's gonna be easy enough, but no ulti. Um, okay, so that's not good. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, he's like, "Where's my bat? Where's my heal? Where's yeah. my support? I'm in the fountain." <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Killing the lich. They even might think about diving too. They have a photic shield in four. Which will probably That's, yeah, you are precisely correct, my friend. <laughs> that is what is happening right here. <laughs> Get him! All right, quick jump in, Mag. They don't have anything to stop it really. Puck is here as well, and they bring in the IO. Our men should back out now. Yeah, looks like they're fine. Yeah, that uh, it was a pretty important whiff in the mid lane too as well, though. Just the fact that uh, it had to use Dream Quill to survive, and that's going to delay like good rotations from BZZ because he wasn't really needed there. And it is space created for the Morphling. Like, Terrorblade didn't die. Morphling is still farming mid. They are going to come back here and try and mess again with the supports, but it's mainly been supports going down as opposed to those, you know, juicy cores that you would really want to be able to find kills on. Top lane, two-man chrono. Oh, Fossil's really big. Here. Might be able to do it. Waveform forward. The right click's coming. They do get the silence, but not before Ventral Spirit goes down. So they find one, and then in the jungle for Radiant, Mag is trying to chase down and kill off this Lich. This should be able to finish him. So another one goes their way. And it looks yeah, like that was pretty huge for the Faces Void, though. Like, that just got him his Iron Talent. That's how his game's been going. <laughs> yeah. Not I, an easy life. It's It's been a rugged one. He's gotten his levels, though. I mean, he got his level 6 there, and that's all you yeah. really need. Yeah, it's true. Mufasa make another rotation. Invis here. He has 54 Agi plus 17. Need a, need a bash. Oh, this is a risky gank. Oh, my God. That's so scary. Io comes in <laughs> not able to heal up enough, and... Oh, God, they'd really like to take that one back if they could. All right. Is he going to die for this? Oh, oh, juked! Illidan, he's making Just it happen. One. Oh, my God, no, Mufasa, say it ain't so. They might be able to find the kill. They need to get him. They do find the drow, but going to lose two for it. Three if oh, you consider oh. the faceless void. Wow, he's even going to buy treads. 1,400 gold. This guy is just styling right now. He's like, nah, I don't need my blink. I don't want to finish my veil. Mm -hmm. Just gonna get my treads up and running. What an old school player. All his builds are it's funny. Like that Wind Ranger build was a little bit old school, and now like going back for the treads puck is something that I can remember when I started playing Dota, everyone always did, but now is generally skipped for the most part. Like, unless you need it for the lane. Bottom lane, speaking of which, Iron Man. Oh, got him. Nice, 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 nice. That missed coil to pop his own aphotic shield. Mm. Yep. That's good. That's stuff. some good or bad in play right there. Yeah, later. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> are you that. uh, are you an Abaddon player at all? I, I like to play the hero, but I wouldn't call myself a player of it. I just it's... found out that you can blink while you're in ulti oh, form. Oh, yeah, it's so broken. Man, IX Mike has been spamming the shit out of that yeah. for, like, months. It's but, wonderful. Um, already just cleaned up the Ancients. Probably just looking for an Alpha Wolf, which uh, he won't find yet. Oh, Relocate. Okay. They've already used the orb. Nice. nice. Jump forward and, oh, gets the quail snap. They need oh, to hit those it. balls on it. <gasps> Ooh. Io, Ramona finds the kill. Okay. 10 to 5. That'll be a nice little pickup for them. Ooh, 591 gold, unfortunately, onto the Io, though. Yeah. That is a problem. I, I, I will say that I've been impressed so far with Zero One, despite the fact that, like, this is a... a essentially a no-name team for most people's point of view like we've never heard of them before uh you're saying you cast a lot of the the european dota and we are going to see a kill here on the lich i believe maybe not going to find it right away i do get them um but they've been showing up they've been playing well yeah yeah they need to uh start considering roche though oh look they already are great good stuff terribly illusions in there scanning out trying to get a good idea because that's definitely the next plan for the dire here oh ramona the swarm Oh, and the Wave of Terror, too. Well, Weaver is going to find him and is going to end up finding the kill, too. Aphotic, or rather, uh, Adaptive Strike, not quite there. And Mag dropped low, but not dead. Man, 
Mufasa is really getting close. I will say these are the types of games where. Yeah, I do think Zero One are making the right moves though. Right now, like in terms of like where their faces void and Terrorblade are right now, I think this is correct. Hopefully, they don't get pincered. Ooh. Ooh, interesting play. Found Mag, TP in, gonna try and catch him. They do end up being able to bring down Yol. I believe Mag as well. Nice All right. Play. Very play. nicely played. The way he focused the, the eventual spirit outside too, and just like knowing that he had to be there for when the swap came. Yeah. Well done. And of course, we, we haven't really talked about how good Faces Void is up against Weaver with that time dilation. Oh, immediate TP out afterwards. Good stuff. Recognizing what they need to do. Morphling might be in a little bit of trouble here as he just explodes. Uh, but they got the Terror Blade out, so... And, and he's the one that's a little bit more farmed to this game. Both heroes push incredibly quickly. Yeah, get away from, like, Io plus Morphling. Of course, Io does have dust on him, but... Uh, while still adding some damage, so it doesn't want to just go like straight out blink, but still have some of that maneuverability. Yeah. And uh, the quick burst onto the IO as well, I guess. But you're right; it is, it is rather unique. Like there's nothing that Silver Edge does for you. Oh, how does that happen? Okay, uh, good silence. He tried to TP in. Yeah, that was. It would have been close. He was going for the escape. Illidan is going to get spotted here, and you mentioned the silence available. Chronosphere is all so huge. Oh. On Everybody TP's back. They got the silence onto Mufasa. Don't want to overextend for him. It looks like they're going to swap one more back here. That's the Terra Blade. Well, they, He's a little bit him. out. He doesn't have a TP. He already used it. They got that broken at that point. And now, in a lot of trouble, they drop down the Dream Coil. And I think he does just fall. But they kept him off their Tier 3s. So even though that really didn't go the way they wanted it to, the Tier 3 tower is almost dead in the top lane. And I guess the same for the bottom. They need to be really on point with getting out when Chronosphere is down. Likewise... Faceless Void needs to make this one work because already another range barracks going down. They're on our men in the background. They chrono out three. That's caught out the puck as well. Silence on it too. They're trying to bring down Illidan as quickly as possible. He's starting to drop low, but everybody else on Fantastic Five. Fairly survival arm now, now drop in. He is going to end up dying. That's already his ulti used. A nice Sunder as well. Thrown out onto Mag. Zero one might Illidan. be able to do this. Mag goes down. Illidan barely alive on the backgrounds, but I think that they're going to be able to find this kill, possibly looking for one, jump forward, bash, there's the Aegis down. So they keep their puck alive, but four other heroes are dead, and I think Illidan might be dead from this. Yeah, Maybe? Yeah, even focus buildings, because the creeps were all gone. Oh, Diffusal Blade, right clicks, right clicks, dead. Four heroes gone, they keep their last barracks alive, and Puck is still in here. Oh my god, he didn't have anything to get out! They find him! What? All right, nice, nice, nice. That is, there's nobody really knows. I think no. he played for Team Spirit for a little while or something too. There's a lot of different people testing him out. It's been six straight games now with Fantastic Five, by the way, guys. So oh, I don't know. Big Get your Chronosphere up. drops oh, not it. A big chrono. Oh no, that wasn't big enough. They are going to replicate or relocate in towards there. They've picked off one, trying to bring down Mag now. He is going to be controlled for the moment, and more and more brought low. They are going to be able to find that kill. Off the other side, though, a very it. quick and easy Tagon comes out. Takes down the Faceless Void. Arm and in some trouble. But his ultimate has popped. I think he should be able to get out of here. Puck is in the area and does end up dropping the Dream Coil. Quick and easy jump. It's almost going to be able to find the kill on the, the Lich, and they end up taking Yo, him out. Easy. That was beautiful. Oh, no. And now also B7 in a lot of trouble trying to TP away, and it's going to fall. The Dagon triple for him he that was like so well played yeah it really was like and it's so hard being a faces void a game like this i totally feel this guy's pain because put themselves in a position where they're going to be fine um looks like this is going to be the last little barracks going down there's not really a great way to stop it they have chronosphere back up in three seconds they actually could hit a big one here if he ends up being able to go into it but oh man puck is just so deep already and oh no it's all gone yeah, he's wrong. just like zoning too. It's so hard for the face void. Like he can't decide. Okay, goes on to Illidan. Relocate happening. Later. Yo pulls him back. Illidan is there, and oh god! All right, tower is going down. Barracks going down. Mag is getting ran out. Ramona is dead, and they are going to be able to find the kill on the Weaver over on the other side. Aramen getting Iron jumped Man. upon. All Doing right. a lot. Okay. Oh. oh. God, he just baited it until oh, the no. very end. Trying to go for the Sunder play. Might be able to bring him down. He actually kills off one, but they are going to end up losing that TB. Morphling's still alive, trying to keep the hopes and dreams of Kazakhstan on his shoulders. They find the last kill. Mag goes down. That's a good bit of gold. Uh. 
That was funny. For it, but a little bit too much, I would imagine. It's so far out right now. Okay, BKB is popped for Loafer. He's in a little bit of trouble. It's going to end up breaking the coil. That's BKB down for Void. He would have been dead if they didn't end up popping that, though. Lich also in some trouble. Oh, God. Puck is so deep right now, and he does end up being able to get that off, but that is a Lich dead. Three are gone. Oh, my God. BZZ is just playing with them. Yeah, he's Buyback so void. at this point, honestly. Still looking for something. Illidan versus B7. Doing a lot of damage. Silence, no thunder. There it is. That's a pretty nice little Chronosphere dropping out. Mag is dead. Yo also is going to go down. So two are gone. RMN, Control, jumped upon. Four they six. get the Sheepstick from Mufasa. Trying to find a kill. They are going to be able to bring down RMN. That's going to end up being another kill on the Morphling, though. That's Can a triple they do kill anything? for B7. Holy crap. They hold the tier threes. It's the most so, important thing. That was only a faceless void buyback. Uh, it, oh yeah, 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 they should be rushing for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, that is very curious. There's an MKB finally. Illidan. It's not on him though. They should. Oh, all him. right. Chrono onto Mag as well as BZZ bringing Where's him low, swap? trying to take him down. They do end up getting it at the end. So wait until the last second. Time lapse out of it. Terrorblade is going to be able to kill off the Venge, but they've already lost the Lich. Not really that big of a deal. Ramona dropping low, but not dead. Meanwhile, oh, Mag, grouping. no they're time lapse, lyrical. might be able to make this happen. BZZ lifted up in the Yule Scepter. Can they bring him down? Oh, a nice blink away. He's still alive for the moment. And they didn't end up losing any of these barracks. He's still over there. He ends up TPing out. So, what He's the hell? So lucky. So fortunate. Um, the swap wasn't there. Like, yo, it wasn't quite on oh, as my well. God. They're going to get here in time. All right. All right. All right. Jump forward. Oh, time dilation. Are they going to get this? BKB <laughs> pop. They end up swapping him out. So that way he oh, can't get the roach. <laughs> oh, Mag picks up the ages. B7 so upset. He is going to bring down Yo very rapidly. So no more swap action coming out. A nice little uh, pull away for the moment. That's a relocate out. But that means that they've left their Terrorblade all alone. Tries to get the Sunder, but he was hit by the mini bashes from the Drow Ranger and couldn't get the animation off. Oh, no. I owe dead. Oh, my heart. It goes out to the. <laughs> nice heads to play by Yule. Yeah. The Definitely. first time he swapped an opponent this entire game, and he was like, ooh, this is a good time to do it. <laughs> oh, Terrible buys his four staff after buying out, and now he's getting right clicked to death. He needs to be saved. He's dead. Die back. 110 seconds. No Terrible All he wanted was his Hurricane Pike, right. and now Mufasa. All right, there's no damage at all. Oh, they popped the ulti, so nobody is taking any damage the whole time. RMN, high level plays across the board, and now they're gonna lose Loafer. It was a good game throughout the whole course of it by 0-1, but in the end, they just, I think, got beat out by the experience factor. Oh my God, look at Illidan. He is just not care. They bring him down the die back. Oh, he ends up falling, but it's worth it. He bounced it back intentionally. <laughs> Uh, the BM. Well, I think that's about all she wrote. There is not really a great way for them to hold off for the 60 seconds before Terrorblade respawns. Draw Ranger buys back. Abaddon buys back. They're coming. They want to take this one. Lich is dead. Ramona, we knew you well. Another quick couple hills and five man wipe. Fantastic five take the game. Again, it was like impressive how long Zero One lasted. They played very well, but I would say it's extremely similar to game one, where they just drafted heroes in lanes that were going to get punished by what Fantastic Five had, and they just gave them such an early lead that it doesn't really matter how well you play. It's highly unlikely you're going to end up winning, right? Like, you...